Chinese Navy begins testing joint unmanned manned aviation operations. China People's Liberation Army Navy believes that drones flying alongside manned fighter aircraft is the way of the future in naval aviation and has begun flying manned unmanned aircraft sorties in recognition of that fact, Asia Times reports. Unmanned systems autonomous operations and unmanned systems and manned systems joint operations as likely to have a huge impact on traditional operational models. As such, China's unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, and in particular, the organizations, as well as educational and training programs, established to support these systems are worthy of attention. Based on his record of a 100% success rate in UAV launches, who has been praised as the PLA golden launcher of military UCUFs, China Military Online, March 14. The joint operations of manned military aircraft, like fighter jets, and UAV is the drone's future, the Global Times cited Shi Wen, the designer of China's rainbow attack drones, as saying on Tuesday. Li Ji, a Chinese naval expert, called on Beijing to allocate more resources toward developing carrier-based UAV. Considerable resources are needed in carrier-based UAV research, Li told the Global Times, noting that continuing this research won't be feasible without government support. Although the military has not released any information, research into carrier-based UAV started long ago, and ship-based UAV on destroyers and frigates have already been used in training, she told reporters. China's maritime construction sector completed its first domestically built aircraft carrier in April 2017. The Type 001A carrier is slated to start sea trials later this month. Down the line, the PLA Navy seeks to operate four carrier strike groups by 2030. If all goes according to plan, one of the strike groups will be led by an aircraft carrier. It's not just the Chinese who see drones as integral to the future of naval aviation. In January, the French government awarded a contract to Airbus to develop technology that will enable intermediate-sized frigates and other French Navy ships to launch helicopter drones. The U.S. Navy is expected to choose a carrier-based UAV prototype refueling tanker by end of the year as part of the MQ-25A Stingray program. General Atomics, Boeing and Lockheed Martin are competing for the contract. The PLA expanding deployment of unmanned systems for multiple missions will probably result in the establishment of new UAV units. Chinese UAV seem to have been deployed across all four services of the PLA at multiple levels and are also likely assigned to units under the Joint Staff Department, former General Staff Department, and, perhaps, though not confirmed, the newly created Strategic Support Force. Despite continued challenges, the PLA remains focused on enhancing its UAV forces' operational capabilities, while engaging in more sophisticated training exercises with manned and unmanned systems. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.